I'm gonna go ahead and go with Bernie Mac. What in the foot? <laughs> I'm gonna go with Bernie Mac, guys. I'm gonna go with Bernie Mac. Because tonight you guys are gonna tune in to the doing the most radio show. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna bring you our guest for the week. None other than the Don't king of comedy himself, so Bernie Sanders. I thought it was Bernie Mac. Sorry. Bernie Sanders, motherfucker. Bernie. Don't be calling me no motherfucking Bernie Sanders, motherfucking disrespecting me. I'm a dead son of a bitch. I'm Bernie motherfucking Mac. Don't you ever, ever disrespect Bernie Mac. me. Bernie Mac, ever. we do that with everybody. Motherfucking, motherfucking white man to you. Motherfucker. <laughs> Motherfucker, motherfucker. I'm a motherfuck your ass to the motherfucking moon. You keep calling me some motherfucking Bernie Sanders. I'm going to get your ass some milk and cookies. <laughs> Bitch ass nigga. Some milk and cookies. Some milk and cookies. Yeah, I heard you was talking about my niece and nephew. I'll get your, I'll dunk your ass in a glass of milk too with your cookie looking ass. Girl, you looking like a, a motherfucking a peanut butter cookie. I'll dunk your ass in some milk, mother goddamn son of a bitch. <laughs> She Damn. Bernie, we, we, we always give our we always give our fest uh, our, our guests a hard time. Motherfucker, you don't talk to me, motherfucker. You call me Bernie, uh, motherfucking Sanders. I'm one of my favorite comedians of all time. Like Nigga, name comedy, one, name one right now. Like I name swear, one. man, you put a lot of kid, you put a lot of people on, and I really. Oh yeah, I put all the motherfuckers on. You know, I'm the motherfucking king. Shit, you know who was last yeah. on the comedy, right? It was my ass, motherfucker. I know. Steve Harvey ass and uh, goddamn Cedric and D.L. Hughley. He ain't yeah. shit. He ain't shit, motherfucker. Speaking so, of Steve oh. Harvey. Steve Harvey. You heard, first. You, you heard it first on DTM radio. Okay. <laughs> he said that, 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 that he ain't shit. <laughs> Cause yep. the motherfuckers ain't shit. I'm the motherfucker around. <laughs> Y'all better ask around. Shit. That's wild. Hey, uh, so uh, Bernie Mac, come on, you know, we always be doing all the time. So Bernie <laughs> Mac, uh, the, so we got an audience question uh, coming in from a caller. A caller wants to know, any you have any cool Steve Harvey stories for us? That ugly motherfucker. <laughs> oh shit. That nigga then uh yeah, I got some stories about Steve Harvey and them big ass baggy suits looking like trash bags and shit. Mother I try to take it. Look, this this the story right here. Cause you know I'm from Chicago, right? <laughs> you know how we get it in with suits, you know I dress down, right? You know what I'm saying? So I tried to take that mother to the tailor. Nigga, they charge his ass double for them big ass suits. And I told him he, his ass was broke. You know he used to live in his car, right? Shit. Yeah. I told that nigga to go repo his, to, to turn that motherfucking car. He had to sell his car so they could tailor that big ass suit. And I was like, shit, I ain't fucking with this motherfucker no more. I ain't taking you nowhere I go. Shit, you know, I'm a player. I'm a player from the Himalaya. Y'all motherfuckers can't fuck with a bad nigga like me. Shit, I've been doing this shit since death comedy, nigga. Keep Listen, playing. I also heard that even though you're a ghost, you somehow got a girl pregnant. Like you got another kid. And I'm like, wow, that's amazing. Hell, what? Well, well, you know, uh, you know, even though Nessa played my daughter on the show, but I heard she was popping in on OnlyFans, so I had to come back down. Nessa, Nessa, <laughs> you know, baby girl, you know, I had to come, come slang it on my baby girl. I told her, just, just look down, don't look at me, don't look in my eyes. Why you doing your job? All right, Nessa, shit, baby girl, they went crazy down there. I had to. You know, I had to come see what do what it do. You know what I'm saying? She only my daughter on the show. It ain't for real. So it's all good. So Nessa. Right. It was a little controversy about that, but you cleaned it up real quick. <laughs> oh, Tumble ass. Okay, so man on the street, what you got to say, babe? Hey everyone, Fuzz is here and you know, I'm so happy to be with you guys. And you wanna know why? Because we're out in LA where the Clippers are actually winning a game. It's like so unbelievable. And, and, and you know what? I'm just trying to find a Clipper fan. Are, are there any Clippy fans out there anywhere? Uh, I just need one to interview because they're winning. It's so unbelievable. In fact, uh, where's Clipper Daryl? Where's Cl Excuse me, sir. Uh, um, you kind of look like Clipper Daryl. Nah, bruh. My name's Lee Boy. What? Oh, oh, well, 
you, you kind of look like a Daryl or a Leroy or one of those black trope names. I, I'm not sure. But um, could you just play Clipper Daryl for me, please? Nah, motherfucker. I said my name is Leroy. And on top of that, I ain't no goddamn Clipper fan. I'm a Laker fan, man. I'm from L.A. Everybody from L.A. is Laker fans. Oh, no, that's just not true, Leroy. Some people are Clipper fans, too, because the Clippers are good. They have PG-13. They got um, Kawhi Leonard and Kawhi not be a fan. <laughs> um, I can't really think of any other players right now because uh, they seem to just only have those two, but that's no excuse not to root for them. I mean, the Lakers are out. I mean, Kawhi better do something, all that shit. He was talking about LeBron, talking about he was going to run, take over the city. I want to see it because every other play, he seemed to get hurt. Knee hurt, leg hurt, foot hurt. Bruh, I ain't believing it until I see it. Well, we're seeing it right now. They're actually winning. So can you just be a Clipper fan just for this interview, please? That would just make my day. N Fuzz, I didn't told you already. I ain't no Clipper fan. I'm a Laker fan. You know, Kobe, Shaq, Magic, all the best players. We got 17 rings. How many rings do the Clippers got? Tell me. No, that's beside the point, Lee boy. Gosh, why do you always have to bring up the worst? Because I'm Lee Boy. I'm always pessimistic. That's just how, who I am. Get used to it, man. You should know this. I've been knowing you for years. Oh, I, I thought you were Clipper Daryl. I'm, I'm sorry. Nick, call me Clipper Daryl one more time. Call me Clipper Daryl one more time. And I'm going I'm to show you something. I'm going to show you something, fuck. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. Yeah, you like that, don't you? Ah. In fact, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get you out of here right now. Right now. I'm going to take you out. I got a basketball hoop that you can't see because the background, but I'm going to dunk your ass. I'm dunking you. You done. You done, boss. You done. I'm tired of you. Now get out of here. So like I was saying, I don't like the Clippers. My name is Lee Boy. Have a nice day. I just love him. I love him. I have loved him since I remember him from all that. I'm saying it's a brother Samaj, bro. Tap, you know what I'm saying. What's up? What y'all got to say? What's Would what's the problem? Why why y'all calling me out? Why, what's up? Why, why the long face? Why are you shitting inside the tank of the toilet and not in the bowl? Oh, why must you why? shit up there and not in the bowl? Yes, oh, you I know why? fucking fishing your shit out like it's goddamn goldfish, okay? Because yes. I don't like to use the white man's toilet or nothing white. You know what I'm saying? So I'm a disrespect. You know what I'm saying? Because they didn't know. Look, sewage came from Egyptians. We the ones that started the sewage system. They, and they try to steal it. They trying to erase our history. So when it comes down to yes. it, I ain't using nothing white the right way. You know what I'm saying? I'm Brother Samaj, bro tip. And uh, that's, just gonna how, that's just gonna how it go. Cause that's just how it go. And look, I was a whole tip, but that's right. you know, it pimps up hoes down. So it's no hoes around me. I'm a bro. You know what I'm saying? Brother Samaj. It's I know very that clever in my opinion. It, but I'm just letting you know, anything white, it ain't right. So when it comes to the toilet, I ain't on it. Motherfucker. Okay, so hey, that's cool as hell with me. If we spray painted the toilet any other color than white, it better would be you black. Shit in the bowl for for right. the brothers. Oh, spray painted black. Brother, if you want. Oh no, we not shitting on black. We not shitting on black. Oh no, see, see, I can shit in the shit. black because you know we the shit from the inside out. You know what I'm saying? And then I will flush it oh, co yes. correctly. I will flush it correctly if it was black, but since it's white, I'm going to let it sit there all night. You know what I'm saying, Brother Samaj? Slut. Slut.